If Christians are supposed to get understanding in all things, then why do they judge me without understanding of anything I'm going through, right? So if you don't know what's happening, how can you look into what you believe and then counsel somebody on what you read as if what they going through is already dealt with, right? So if what I'm going through has already been dealt with, why am I going through it? Well, you, you know, you're supposed to be, I'm saying, wait a minute, brother, you telling me that I supposed to be comfortable in a crime because you read it in the book or you, or you read it in the Bible or you read it in the Quran so now I'm supposed to go through it because you said, see, this is what I don't understand, right? Because I'm saying if my life don't have value, then how can I do something valuable with my life? So if, you, if I am being taught religiously that... Uh, my life has no value because of the lives that was before me, then how do I become anything in your understanding that come that came before me? So how do I then vindicate myself from your belief? So now look, this is what I'm saying. So I'm saying, which is why once the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, as well as the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally gave me, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of the United States Navy, the moment of truth, for which is defined as a moment, for which is defined as a minute portion or point of time, for which illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally caused the crisis on which, on whose outcome much or everything in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally depends in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in, in the Middle District of Florida for eternity. Because I, for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Four Castles Incorporated, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally seized, for which is defined as to take possession of the moment of um, oh man, inertia, inertia, right? Uh, that inertia is I-N-E-R-T-I-A, right? And it's, it's design, uh, defined as a measure of the resistance of a body. And now the body is now made from the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran. Now, what? see, okay, in the beginning of the Exodus, it was a lamb, an actual animal. Uh, Moses told them, the Israelites, to uh, to eat the lamb, prepare it. If they didn't have enough, I mean, if they had too much, they were supposed to share it with their neighbor. They wasn't supposed to waste any of the lamb. They were supposed to take the blood of the lamb, put it over the post, and then death was supposed to pass them over. Okay, now, then the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priest, the high priest, the scribes, and the elders, for whom was at the commemoration of Moses' Passover from the, from the Egyptians, then used Jesus as a lamb so that Rome wouldn't come take their place and nation. So the church, the, uh, the synagogue, 
of the temple inside of Jerusalem is who then turned the lamb that was once an animal into the flesh and bones of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee. So they said in order for them to now be saved from Rome, like they were saved from Pharaoh, they turned Jesus into a lamb. Now, what I did is I turned the lamb that once was Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee into the Florida Constitution, the, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran, because those are my angels that is now covered in me and my wife and my two children. See, Moses' children and wife and father-in-law and our sister-in-laws should have been protected by the Ten Commandments. See, this is what's getting me about Israel, right? I'm saying, well, now you talking about today what's happening to you. But what about what happened by you when you got free and went out there messing with people who didn't even know that you were who you are now? See, this is just like the, the um, England, which was King George um, having um, stake in this um, uh, land. Then he renamed it to the United, well, he named it the 13 colonies, where once his um, subjects overthrew his reign, they then named it the 13 colonies. And not, so what about the lie? See, okay, where's the Indians? Where are the Mexicans? The history shows you kill them just like you saying that Hamas killing the Israelites. Or what about the black people who to this day don't have no rights nowhere in the world, really? Like, don't nobody really do business with us. Everybody, especially the poor blacks, right? And I don't care where you at, nobody answer our call. You know what I mean? You, I'm in I'm in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, and my own family and friends put me in a mental hospital. So who gonna help me? Who gonna help my grandchildren? See, so if I'm a threat now, well, wouldn't my grandchildren be a threat later? Like, when are you going to give my grandchildren their inheritance? Because my kids don't know, and now they done got their friends and everybody involved, and now everybody talking about what the hell they need. But what about me? 15 years, ain't nobody thought about me. So when y'all going to think about Jesus on the cross and on Calvary? Like, when y'all going to get him down instead of celebrate him being up there? Right? So if you if you happy that he on the cross, wouldn't you be mad if he got down? Oh, now nah, he don't love us no more. Oh, he done, he done got down, man. Oh, he done moved on, got him a wife and kids. Oh, he don't love us no more. Like, well, damn, he can't have a life. Your, your preacher got life. Your preacher got a wife. Your king got a harem. But the, the person who you find out that loves you in the dark and just don't want even you to know, but the devil done forced him to have to come out and then reveal himself because he trying to go home to his family. <laughs> now y'all like me, like Moses. So now if Moses couldn't get in the promised land, right, why then can the Israelites get into the promised land? What did Moses do? So when did Moses not do the law? If, if the, if the, if the burning bush told Moses to go back into Egypt, Moses went back into Egypt, put himself in jeopardy, doing what the person in the burning bush told him to do. But now the Israelites enjoying what Moses did, but they also violating the Ten Commandments to this day. So when did you get, when the Ten Commandments, if you say Moses was with you, 
And even when you was at the base of Mount Sinai, Moses, so you would say that Moses, when he came down from Mount Sinai, is, is Hamas. It, okay, if the story is that when Moses was up on, the, on Mount Sinai, the Israelites was down at the base of Mount Sinai and built a golden calf. And and the and the Lord God told Moses to get away from him because your people done already violated the law. So then Moses interceded for the Israelites. But he came down, and that's when the sons of Levi had to go, and they say over 3,000 died that day. Wasn't that like, I mean, see, this is what get me, man, like, do you really understand the story or are you just speaking on the story, but you're not looking at the story and seeing who right and who wrong? Are you reading the story and then picking a side? Wouldn't that be why now the story has two sides? But right now we should be able to read both sides and see who was wrong. So if the Israelites was enslaved, when was Hamas them people enslaved? When did they God enslave them? Right? But the Bible says that Jacob them, the Israelites, going to be enslaved in a strange land for transgressing the law. The, all through the Bible is warning their father, Jacob. Saying, Jacob, you, you know, then he changed his name to Israel. They still warn him and say, man, you know, you, you better stop. You, you know? Now his children, but they, what does the Bible say? The iniquities of the a father be passed on to the church. So when do y'all say you believe in God, but yet you keep throwing off the judgment? Like you decide who live and die. But now when the whole judgment fall on you, now you throw the Bible away, you throw the Quran away, and you throw the law away. But now when you was judging, you was very strict. You ran your campaign on putting your citizens in prison. But now you telling those same people that you done put their children in prison that you shouldn't go? She, I, and you telling me they saying that's cool? But they everybody knows somebody in prison. Everybody. But now the politicians who ran on these tough laws and these stringent rules now don't want to be held accountable to what the laws you made. So now you've been hit with the Declaration of Independence. The same thing your founding fathers who founded the 13 colonies, well, who founded the 13 states on July 4th, 1776, gave to the king of them, and then they threw off his reign, but now you telling us who we voted for, and the law says that you cannot hold office, you telling us that, no, nah, it don't mean that. I'm, well, what it mean? If, 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 if uh, Robert E. Lee them and Stonewall Jackson them and the people from the um, Southern uh, uh, armies couldn't hold office, you let them go, but they couldn't hold office. That let you know when you in an insurrection or a rebellion against the United States, you can't hold office because Robert E. Lee them couldn't hold office. They live the rest of their life with no kind of power. But you didn't put them in jail. You just let them stay on their land. Now, why you didn't let me stay on my land? You took my house, man, in court, and now... When I done then countered you and used your own laws to get back my property and then to seize your property in the same manner you seize citizens' property, now you don't know what to do. You're supposed to follow the law. And I'm citing the law you're supposed to follow. So now check this. So now, um, okay, it flipped again, so I got to... Okay, inertia, uh, for which is defined as the measure of the resistance of a body made from the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran, 
in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. So that's when Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee as the lamb became the written word. See, so now the only thing I sacrificed was the written word. See, I didn't sacrifice anybody, but the state of Florida through its elected officials tried to sacrifice me. See, so now, so this is, um, this thing keep moving. Every time I say something, it'll move. Okay, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, which is why the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran is now in inertia, inertia, for which is defined as a property of matter by which it remains at rest or in uniform motion in the same straight line unless acted upon by some external force in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida, because I then made it rest. Like when I was in the military, when we come to attention, we be at uh, parade rest. You see what I'm saying? So now, the, or then we would, they say parade rest, and then you put your arm behind your back. See, so that's what I got, the Florida Constitution, the United States, and parade rest inside of the civil and criminal court, because <laughs> they, we ready. That's what that means. See, see, when I was in boot camp, and we was, and we was actually marching, and then it's a parade rest. See, that's where we put the guns down and pop and, and pop. And see, see, they know I know what I'm talking about because I went through it. See, I wasn't in ROTC. I was in the real Navy. See, see that. So now I got the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the United States uh, uh, Bill of Rights, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran at parade rest inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February, I mean, uh, ever since February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning waiting on my command and only my command. See, because I'm the one made them in parade rest, then I'm the only one can make them in motion. <laughs> See, that's why I'm telling my, my children, hey, if you got a problem, if you got any contract dispute, don't worry about it. Give them the money. But then they got to come to court with me forever. Don't worry about it. Then I'll decide. That's when I'll make that. See, I'll put them in attention, then they attend church, they come back, <laughs> see, and then I say, and then they go to marching, <laughs> see, see, when we in motion, we dangerous, see, when we at parade rest, we, we, <laughs> see, we waiting on our orders, <laughs> see, but see, okay, but see, I keep telling y'all, man, I'm a company, I was a company first, uh, I was in company 202, that was the company I was in, in boot camp, over 88 men. <laughs> See, parade rest. But it's the Constitution now. See, now the men are supposed to come. And women. <laughs> what you gonna do? See, but you played chess with, with a few people that knew your moves. But they didn't know that they were moving outside of the Constitution, right? But see me, I started moving. See, before my people came, I put the Constitution in position over your little people. See, and then I was the king before my my army, navy, air force, and marines came. And by then, I I'm petty officer, third class, Tommy Chancellor, Council Senior. I have authority over these documents. <laughs> you gave me authority over. Them. So now, don't come talking about oh you race. Uh uh. 
I'm petty officer, third class, Tommy Chancellor Council Senior. Race has nothing to do with my service in my country. So don't come at me with that. See, I don't want to hear that. You violated the Constitution, and I have the Constitution in formation at parade rest. <laughs> so you better get yourself together. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because, okay, so now, for which is why justice is not angular, for which is defined as having one or more angles in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle of uh, District of Florida's acceleration for which is defined as the act or process of moving faster or happening more quickly about a given axis for which is defined as a straight line about which a body made by the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Holy Bible, uh, the Ten Commandments, and the Holy Quran, that legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, f financially, mentally, and federally rotates in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida around me, for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated for Eternity in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. Now, what I'm saying there is like when I saw King uh, Charles commemorate uh, coronation, right, when he was crowned, uh, you know, he had his robe on, you see? Well, I didn't have a robe because I didn't have a ceremony, see? So if I'd had a ceremony, then everybody would have made me a robe and my gown, and I'd had everything like he did, right? But because my kingdom was enslaved some in some point in history, then the blood of my divineness wouldn't allow me not to become divine, right? So if, if my royal blood had become a slave, then on my resurrection, my blood has to be divine because now I went just like Jesus, right? Okay, say Jesus was from the house of David. Right. So basically he was supposed to be a king. He was supposed to be royal. Right. But because of David's uh, iniquity, he was born in a manger. And then his blood was so divine. He was supposed to be a leader that his life just shined. Right. And he ended up leading. And then that caused his death. So. See, so that showed, now you see him as divine. See, David would have made him royal only if David's blood would have been in accordance with um, the laws, right? So because David broke the law when he sent Uric to die, then Jesus was born in a manger. See, the Jew back in a manger. Now, here it is today, my, obviously, was king somewhere down the line, and now I had to prove that I'm divine because my people, who was denied the right to read and write, has been given a God in place of me. See, see, they was, so, okay, see, in, king, in England, King George is the king. But now it's a God, whatever that is, right? So King George believe in the same God you believe in. But how about if his kingdom was gone? He wouldn't, he would have to believe that he's greater than a king for him to then call his subjects through their understanding that has been indoctrinated into them, right? So now it's woven 
into the fabrics of their understanding. So now, if I do not prove that I'm divine, how could I prove that I was in a, of royal blood? See, like Jesus should have proved that he was of David, but they knew. But David's crime had made Jesus a criminal. See, that's what they say, your father's iniquity. So I went through that. See, see, my dad, I, I caught hell <laughs> in, in both families, you know what I'm saying? Because of my daddy, you know what I'm saying? So anything I did, I already knew that I had to do it above the, I mean, according to the law, because I was coming out of a shadow. See what I'm saying? So, okay, now I'm saying, okay, now I'm saying, okay, I'm going to go back so you will understand. I just wanted to, to tell you what I was saying. So I'm going to go back to what I'm talking about. So the axis for which is defined as a straight line about which a body made by the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran that legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally rotates in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle, in the middle district of Florida around me, for whom name is King Thomas Chancey Castle Senior, four castles incorporated for eternity in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, uh, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. That is equal. That is equal to the sum of the products of each element of mass in the body of justice, and the square of the elements of justice's distance from the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the, uh, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning, um, as well as on October 17th in 2023 at 1046 in the morning, which is why the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, as well as the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, were supposed to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally surrender, for which is defined as to give up God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as Allah for whom is God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world completely to me for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9:20 in the morning as well as on October 17th in 2023 at 10:28 in the morning for which is when where how as well as why I for whom name is King Tommy Chancy Castle Senior of Four Castles Incorporated now have the core co related to right Correlated to. So let's see. All right. Make sure. All right. Correlation. What that, wait a minute. It, but that ain't what it said in the. Hold on. Okay, let me make sure. Correlated to. Tiv. Not, not, son. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, let me get back with you. Here. 
Okay. I mean, make sure. Correlative. God damn. I, <laughs> boy, I said that too. I said, boy, not that shit though. But okay, hold on. Look, cold and then it's an R. And then relative. So I said correlative. But, but they said something else. Correlative. Damn. What, what I said? I must have said, oh, I ain't supposed to be cousin. <laughs> okay. Bye, man. Shit. I don't know. What did I? I don't know. I don't know. I probably just naturally think I ain't gonna do it, so I don't know. Okay, uh, cause I've been arguing with my mama. See, but you know what? That's what I'm telling my kids. I'm saying, boy, if my mama was living. Y'all saying I'm bad, Shh. man. My mama was rough, you know, especially on me. And so that's why I'm rough on me too. So that's why I say y'all can't be no rough on me than my mama was, and I am on myself. So. Because she know I'm supposed to know that. But I got a lot going on. But I don't believe in excuses. See, that's what I'm telling my children. So I'm saying, well, how would my, how would your grandchildren or your children know your daddy if your daddy don't be your daddy in this situation? Because you wouldn't know that, oh, man, that's really daddy. See, he don't let the situation make him. He make the situation. See, just like my mom and them say, uh, Tommy, you, money don't make you, you make money. See, I'm saying, well, see, if money don't make me, then if they take my money, then that leaves the situation, right? So now, if I don't let them, if I don't let money make me, then I can't make the person who created the situation make me not be me, because then it's going to look like the money made me who I am. See, so that's what I'm telling people. I'm saying, well, hey, man, what did your mama them teach you? So you will go crazy if somebody takes some money. But if you got the mentality that you make money, then you know that this situation going to be about money. So then why won't you then <laughs> make an asset, <laughs> right? So this is me and I'm not selling my soul See, what I did is I purchased my soul with my truth inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. That's when the devil then, he lost any legal rights to me. Now, so we co-relative, right? So now I'm back here with what I was saying. And I'm hoping I'm saying it right now, co-relative. <laughs> so now I have co-relative, for which is defined as natural-related rights, as well as the duties concerning the care, custody, and earnings of Allah, for whom is God's children, and who is projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world as well as the rights and duties concerning the care, custody, and earnings of God, for whom is Allah's children, and who is projects, communities, schools, colleges, uh, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, uh, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, in the civil and criminal courthouses, in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, for which is when, where, why, as well as how I, for whom simple name is Tommy Chancey Castle Sr., for whom is the biological father of Queen Tamika Rayshon Castle of Chancey Incorporated and King Tommy Chancey Castle Jr. of Chancey Incorporated, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally became the father of God for whom is Allah's children, and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as, I gotta make this. Okay, now, um, this is the time. So, uh, I see that you all, like say if you a Muslim, right, you say Allah, and if you a Christian, you say God, right? But what, so this is why what I'm saying is I'm saying uh, Allah for whom is God's children and who is projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, 
in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9:20 in the morning, right? But see, so what? See, so at the see, I say the Father of God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities. Then I say Allah for whom is God's children because I don't want the Muslim children to think that I'm not their father, and I don't want the Christian children to think that I'm not their father. So I'm putting it in a way that no matter how they look at it, I'm still the father. Cause I saw that Abraham is the father of the Muslim and the Christian, but because his iniquity, then it tore the family apart. See, because Ishmael is actually supposed to be the leader in Jewish law, but because of the crime, Isaac became, and that told the promise in two. So what I'm doing is I'm, because I'm the legal father, see, he is the illegal father. I'm the legal father who men in the, the covenant between uh, God's and you. So what I'm doing is I'm using the words so that the devil can't say, well, oh, see, He's not talking about you. He said, God for whom is Allah's children. See, he didn't say Allah for whom is God's children. See, so I'm taking that play out of the devil's hand. <laughs> See, it's because I only get this opportunity to outplay the devil. See, I don't know what he's going to do once I leave this earth. So I have to be absolute in my speech while I'm here on earth. So my testimony, I want to be accurate. I want you to know that this is not just for Allah's children. It's for God's children in your understanding. So can't nobody say, oh, he don't love Christian children. And can't nobody say, oh, he just love Muslim children. They can only say he loved children, but you classify yourself. And so he then made your classification of yourself his. That's what I'm doing. So, okay, in um in the federal courthouse, okay, for which is when for whom legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and free federally freed. So that's when I'm telling you that I free both of you. I I free the Muslim children, male and female alike, and I also free the Christian children, male and female alike. Because I have two children, a female and a male. See, so that way, see, I'm saying, well, I'm showing y'all the same thing the Prophet Muhammad did, but I'm just showing y'all my laws, just like he gave you his laws on divorce or whatever, whatever. See, I'm saying, well, and my children can corroborate what I'm saying, that, hey, you got to get education. It don't matter if you are a female or a male, you <laughs> see, he wants you to be educated because I can't use an ignorant person. See, you can only abuse an ignorant person. See what I'm saying? But when you use a person who intelligent, then the intelligent person gets something out of the use. See, that's what I was showing my daughter. I'm saying, hey, your daddy is educating your mind. So how is your daddy using you if he's educating you so he can use the education that you acquire? So he's not using your body, he using your mind. See, and the mind can move mountains. And it doesn't matter if you're a female or a male, if you use your mind, you can move a mountain. So, but now if I didn't use my mind, how could I show them the power of the mind? See, so you got to have a mind in order to show your children how to then use their mind. If you don't have the ability, how can you then show the ability you don't have? Makes sense when you think about it. But anyway, free Allah for whom is God's children and hoods, projects, community schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning 
as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, and for whom legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally gave God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as Allah for whom is God's children, in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, the legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal right to their own earnings in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, whether God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, um, community schools, colleges, churches, temples, synagogues, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as Allah for whom is God's children in hoods, prison, uh, um, projects, community schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, temples, uh, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, uh, male or female. See, so I wanted to make that distinction. It doesn't matter if you male or female, you have the rights to your earnings. So when you when I'm giving you the right to your earnings, I'm give, and and I'm telling you, you have the right to become whoever you want to be. That's why I need 20% from who you become. See, so the money is not important if you don't become the um, the product that you supposed to be. So say, if you was an apple, you would have to come from an apple tree, right? But how about if you the seed? See, this is what I'm trying to show us, that whatever we were yesterday... That is not who we actually are. That is the situation we was in. So now if we become the seed of righteousness and we start growing ourselves from this point on, then we are not the fruit. We are the tree. You see, because we are the first tree in free soil. See, we are fruit in slave in, enslaved, right? So say if uh, we are in the, in the midst of the Garden of Eden, see, we are in the midst of something, right? So now if we are in the midst of something, then we are in something, see? So that means we are the fruit of what we're in. Now, inside of any fruit, if it has seeds, which we supposed to have seeds because I had children, so I had I have seeds. I'm not barren. My wife is not barren, right? Because we have we produce two seeds. So see, we now the tree, because we produce our children. Our children are our fruit. Now, once I then establish my wife and I fruit inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, see. I became the tree and sh and then the fruits now grow off of that legal tree. Now, so wouldn't that be the tree of life that grows in the Garden of Eden? But we are now, we moved out of the forbidden tree that was grown in the midst of the garden. See, so I'm, I severed my, my branch on the um, forbidden tree. Once I fell off of that tree, my seed went into Jesus's soil and then I became a tree. See what I'm saying? Not a branch. My daughter and my son is a branch. See? Okay, but anyway, you know, just to give you a little something. The legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal act for which I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior, of the United States Navy legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally performed in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning 
as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning has all also legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, as well as federally freed the parents of God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as Allah for whom is God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world from all legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal obligations of support after 18 years of age. Emancipation may take place by agreement between the parent and child by operation of law, as when the parent abandons or fails to support the child, or when the child gets legally married or enters the armed forces, which is why my for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, as well as federal emancipation of God's children for whom are Allah's, uh, God's children for whom are Allah's children and Allah's children for whom are God's children. So that then I just explained it of what I was saying. See, I'm saying God's children is Allah's children and Allah's children is God's children. So that way it wouldn't be no confusion. See, because a, a clever person can take what's missing and then bring doubt into what was said. See, that's how they do it. So now that I see the um the 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 the, the problems with the te the testimonies, right, in the Bible, and that's why I like the Quran because the Quran is just the prophet Muhammad. He the only prophet in there. See, in the Bible, you got the Old Testament prophets, you got the New Testament prophets. You got Saul in there who changed his name to Paul. See, that's a whole lot of ifs and you got to believe this and this and that. See, the way the, the Quran is, it's just him talking about what he faced as a Muslim. See, so that's what I'm doing. See, I'm talking about what I faced as not being a Christian. See, even in my own family. So I'm letting my great, great grandbabies and I'm and my daughter, my wife, and my son, for whom I never talked to about religion, they always talked, said about me. I never said nothing. Now I'm saying, well, hey, man, this is why I'm not a Christian. Like, I, So that's what the Prophet Muhammad saying. That's why I can feel the Quran. See, I'm not a Muslim, but I see what the Prophet Muhammad saw. That's all I'm saying. And I saw it ever since I was... Um, introduced to Christianity. I saw what he talking about. I'm like, man, that's what they do. Man, they do. But see, why wouldn't a person who reads something not do what they believe? So they, they choose a side in the Bible and then they persecute you saying you done, you on the other side. And you saying, no, nah, man, I'm not on no side. I'm on my side. I'm living my life. Oh, you ain't supposed to do that. And you ain't. Po and then you saying, man, you can't even read. You don't know what's going on. How you going to tell me what to do? And you don't even know the law. I know the Bible. Jesus said this. I'm saying, well, how you know Jesus said that? Was you there? Then you got to argue. See? And so that's why I stay away from religion. I'm saying, because you right. See, because I wasn't there. You act like because you read the book, you there. And I'm saying, well, look, man, I don't read that because I got my own life. And now here's my testimony that Christians and Muslims alike are using their religious understanding of somebody else's testimony to undo mine. And I'm saying, see, man, that's why I don't deal with religion. I deal with facts, life. But anyway... Okay, now let me see. Let me make, okay, emancipation of God's children inside of uh, the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 uh, at, in, uh, at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th at 920 in the morning. 
now legally, historically, biblically, um, spiritually, religiously, financially, men <clears throat> mentally, and federally requires exchange permission in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. Which means, see, now, which means now, see, once you know the truth, it's up to you to change. See, I, I can't do nothing else but give you the evidence because I'm not trying to lead you. I'm trying to stop you from being misled as I show you leadership. See, so I'm not, see, I'm saying there's no nothing else you can do to me. I'm not, I'm not in a church every Sunday. I'm not, see, I, I am a uh, owner of a corporation and that, and that's going to pay you for five days to find yourself. And then I'm going to give you two days off to enjoy the person you found. And then I'm going to give you four weeks to enjoy the person you made every year you're gonna have four weeks vacation you're gonna have you're gonna work five days a week you're gonna have sick time see what i'm saying see what i'm trying to do is give you water in the form of monetary um assistance that allows you to become the seed that's deep inside of you Right, because you got excuses. See, I don't, even though I got all of this going on, see, I still expect more out of myself. See, so that way it doesn't matter what my enemy trying to do because I hate losing. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. So if that means educate myself, I'm going to do that. Whatever I got to do, because if you have to be as wise as the serpent, that right there means you have to learn. See, you can't be wise and, you, and you're not willing to increase your knowledge. So see, that's why I've, I've written a hundred books so I can then be wiser than my serpent. <laughs> see, now, if the serpent is supposed to be wiser than me, then won't the serpent now has to increase his knowledge through what though? It has to be through the words I wrote. See, that's why the Bible say that the devil know the Bible better than you. See, because the devil is willing to increase its wisdom so you don't become as wise as them. See what I'm saying? See, but when you catch the devil not as wise as you, then why wouldn't you write about your wisdom so that your people can become as wise as you? Because obviously my people are not as wise as I am. So if they are not as wise as I am, how could they fulfill the scripture that says that they have to be as wise as the serpent that's now fighting me? So now what serpent do they think? Do they think it's a less serpent than the serpent that I'm fighting? <laughs> See, that's what I'm asking them. I'm saying, well, if I am fighting a supreme reality, then am I not fighting reality supreme being? So now, well, then, well, shouldn't you be as wise as who I am fighting if that is the serpent? So why then would you then put me in the mental hospital and you're not aiding and abetting the serpent? See, but I guess that's get too deep right there. But anyway, uh, which is why I, for whom simple name is Tommy Chancey Council Senior, now know that display for which is defined as to put or spread before the view in the in civil and in the civil and criminal courthouses. Okay, hold on. In the civil and criminal courthouses and Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August twelfth in two thousand eight at ten forty in the morning, did not legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, nor federally translate, for which is defined as to turn into one's own freedom for which is defined as the quality or state of being free, for which is defined as not costing or charging anything in the civil nor criminal courthouses in Seminole nor Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, nor in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning, which is how I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of, of the United States Navy know for a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal certainty 
that intelligence for which is defined as the ability to learn or understand or deal with new or trying situations displayed for which is defined as to make evident in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, but is not known nor understood in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, nor prisons all, all over the world is still intelligence. Right? It's still intelligence for which is defined as the skilled use of reason in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning to be used in the federal courthouse in the, in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, but was not legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, nor federally comprehended for which is defined as to grasp the nature, significance, or meaning of by those whom voluntarily, uh, voluntary ignorance. Now, this is a real live, <laughs> see, that's a legal uh, term. It's called voluntary ignorance, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as willful obliviousness, for which is defined as lacking remembrance, remembrance memory, or mindful attention in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, an unknowing or unaware state resulting from the neglect to take reasonable steps to acquire important knowledge in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world is now legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally on display for which is defined as to exhibit, for which is defined as to submit inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 10 forward in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning to the courts during the course of the proceedings. But it's still not understood in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, nor prisons all over the world. Yeah, I better put no. Uh-oh. I'm making a correction. Nor prisons all over the world. Therefore, if, if the truly for which is defined as in all sincerity is still ignorant, for which is defined as resorting from or lacking or showing lack of knowledge or intelligence in the civil and criminal courthouses and similar and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12 and 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, would have been able to illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, or federally trap, for which is defined as a device for taking me for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated inside of mine for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated's own emotions for which are defined as a conscious mental reaction subjectively experienced as strong feeling, usually directed towards a specific object and typically accompanied by psychological and behavioral changes in the body. How would have I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, been able to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally catch evil in the act in the midst of the Garden of Eden in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, which is, which is why eventually, for which is defined as an unspecified later time, God for whom is Allah's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, 
churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, as well as Allah for whom is God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world for whom are illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally born, for which is defined as deriving, for which is defined as to take, receive, or obtain, as well as spiritually raised, for which is defined as having a pattern or design projecting from darkness, for which is defined as the total or near total absence of light, for which is defined as something that is that makes vision possible in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world are not going to have to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally, federally become those for whom are comprehend, who, who can comprehend, but which is defined as to contain or hold within a total scope, significance, or amount of light, but which is defined as a celestial body, for whom body is defined as an aggr uh, aggregation, yeah, ag aggregation, for which is defined as a group, body, or mass composed of many distinct parts of the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran, as an individual for whom simple name is Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. Because if those for whom are raised, for which is defined as done and relieved by darkness, for which is defined as evil, for which is defined as morally reprehensible, for which is defined as worthy of or deserving reprehension, for which is defined as the act of rep reprehending, for which is defined as to voice disapproval of those for whom can't comprehend, for which is defined as to include by construction the light, for which is defined as spiritual illumination, for which is defined as intellectual, for which is defined as developed by the intellect, for which is defined as the power of knowing as distinguished from the power to feel in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world is why darkness, for which is defined as a lack of knowledge, for which is defined as the fact or condition of being aware of the darkness in the civil and criminal courthouses and Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Then darkness and hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world within all of darkness's definition. In hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, and, and prison, jails and prisons all over the world will continue to illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally generate, for which is defined as to bring into existence darkness in all of darkness's many forms, in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world in the presence of light for which is defined as truth, for which is defined as the body of real things, events, and facts in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, which is why Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee is still illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally on the cross on Calvary in Jerusalem. And I, for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, am illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally on the cross in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle of District of Florida, while darkness is in hoods, 
projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, continuing to illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally reign, for which is defined as the dominion, sway, as well as influence over all in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world as an eternal spirit. In hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world, while I, for whom real name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated, appeal to everybody as uh, everybody as I, for whom, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chance, the Council Senior of the United States Navy, as a nobody, try to tell everybody that I, for whom name is Tommy Chance, the Council Senior, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally saved everybody in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties, in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 uh, and, and, uh, at 9.20 in the morning, as well as on October 17th in 2023 at 11.05 in the morning for eternity as the father of Queen Tamika Rayshon Castle of Chancey Incorporated and King Tommy Chancey Castle Jr. of Chancey Incorporated as well as the husband of Queen Benita Elaine Elps Castle of Four Castles Incorporated. So now, because I'd have been there four more days, I had to read all that, but now I'm going to go get... um. Okay, I'm going to go get John 1, no, first, first John 3 of the King James Version of the Holy Bible, Bible Hub Edition. And um, this is um, uh, verses 11 through 24. And this is love one another to um, reference myself. So it says, for this is the message that ye heard from the beginning that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother and were slew he himself and were and were for, were for, for slew himself because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not my brethren if, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abide in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso have this world's good and see if his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in words, neither in tongue, but in deeds and in truth. In the civil and criminal courthouses <laughs> in several and orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. See, that's why I didn't talk about it. I was about it. See, that's why I have a place, not of worship, but a place of service. See, you go to church, temples, synagogue, mosque to go worship, and you call it a church service. But I went into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida and protected and defended the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So, see, I was providing a service that um, was given to me as an oath. 
So I was fulfilling the oath as I provided the service. See, so I did. I wasn't in a place of worship. I was in a place of service, and I gave that service to my brothers, my sisters, my neighbors, my friends, uh, uh, acquaintances. Even if you was only akin to me by being a United States citizen, I still um, protected you as the oath you gave me as the United States of America when I was going into the United States Navy. So now if I then did this, how is the state of Florida or the United States of America then in accordance with this? Wouldn't they be Cain? Would they tried to kill me? <laughs> so then when did they not look like Cain? But, you know, I guess that's, see, y'all gonna make it whatever you want it to be. But anyway, but whoever has this world's good and see his brother have need and shut up his vows of compassion for him now dwell up how dwell of the god the love of god in him my little children let us not love in words neither in tongue but in deeds and in truth and hereby and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him <laughs> see inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12 in 2008 at 10 40 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So see, see you got to come before me because I went in there before you and proved that I'm him. See, who is him? See, I went and proved I'm him, so you come in and prove you him. See, how you getting money for what Jesus did and what the prophet Muhammad said, but what you doing? See, I went in when the devil attacked me, he attacked me for what I was doing. And I proved that what I did, I did righteously. So now, didn't I prove that the state of Florida came against me unrighteously? So now, wouldn't the iniquity of the state of Florida now be on the state of Florida for three or four generations? Now, wouldn't the iniquity on the United States of America now be on the United States of America for three or four generations? Well, how can America stand with no law for three or four generations? But see, y'all say with your mouths, you believe, but you don't. But see now, here it is right here. For if our heart condemn us, God is great. Wait, for if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we... Then, then have we confidence towards God and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we kept his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And, and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as we have, as he gave us commandment. See, so so if even if I'm saying I don't believe in Jesus Christ, but I'm doing the work, right? But you still supposed to be my brother because you believe in Jesus Christ. Why would you then hold your bowels, man? <laughs> See, and you supposed to be a Christian. See, you supposed to read this to show yourself approved, but I gave up all my wealth and I'm giving a wealth of, of, of experience, a wealth of knowledge. I'm showing your kids as well as mine how to defeat the devil decisively in a legal dispute. So he is now speaking and I am now writing. But the only reason why I am speaking is because you held your bowels. <laughs> See, you did not speak. See, man, y'all rough, man. Mm. And, and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him. See, see, so look, see, even if I didn't believe, he's saying that if I kept the commandments, then Jesus is in me. So y'all persecuted Jesus again. So when is Jesus in you? 
When is Jesus in Pastor Willie C. Bunn? When is Jesus in Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church? They throw me out. So what truth is in there? What truth? And then if the truth ain't in there, then now all of y'all need to come into the civil and criminal courthouses and wait your truth against my truth and then see how much of Jesus Christ is in you. Because I was able to walk out of court. So obviously the weight of my evidence freed me from the weight of your deception. Now, you got to come in as a reverend, a minister, a rabbi, a pope. <laughs> See, I, I came in as a, a layman, and I walked out as a king. <laughs> See, you coming in with a title. I ain't have no title. I just had rank. Petty officer, third class, Tommy Chancellor Council Senior. And I walked out with a title of king. Tommy Chancellor Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated. So now... How you get a title that you didn't earn? Who gave it to you? Okay. And he that keepeth his commandment, his commandments dwelleth in him and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit in which he has given us in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 10 4 in the morning as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Okay, now I'm going to get, okay, wait a minute, that's all. Uh, so now I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get uh, the, the Prophet Muhammad out of, uh, now, I like this. I'm going to go to 70 because I when they had flipped it back before, I saw some 70. Wait a minute. Damn. So I'm going to go to 70, 70, chapter 16, verse 70. Okay, now 69 to 79. This is uh, chapter 16, verse 69 in the Holy Quran, the Shihid International Version of the Holy Quran, verses 70, 69 through 79. It says, Then eat from all the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord, your Lord, lay down for you. These emerges from their uh, bellies a drink very uh, varying in colors in which there is healing for people. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. And Allah created you, then he will take you in death. And among you is he who is re reversed to the most deceptive, deceptive, wait, de de no, excuse me, decrepit. That's decrepit. Damn, damn, my brother got, oh, I know it's going to change. Yep, <laughs> boy, I knew it was gonna do it. Woo wait, boy, they why do they why they changing the thing, man? It don't you ain't supposed to change. It don't change like, but I guess they don't want me on this end. Okay, hold on, I got it now. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on, there. Okay, uh, hold on. Decrepit. Yeah, decrepit. That's what I was saying. Wasted and weakened by as if by the infirmities of old age infirmities the quality of state of being infirm um infirm is of poor or deteriorated uh, vitality especially feeble from age weak of mind will or character so you got it you weak of mind will character or age so that's like the elders in jerusalem right so now Okay, now I gotta go back to what I was. Wonder why this thing keep turning. Okay, now. Okay, of old age, decrepit of old age, so that he will not know after having had knowledge a thing. Indeed, Allah is knowing and competent. Then, uh, and Allah has favored some of you over others in provision 
but those who were favored, i.e. given more, would not hand over their provision to those whom their rights, right hands uh, possess, i.e. slaves, so they would be equal to them therein. Then it is the favor of Allah they reject. See? So now, I gave provisions in with the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran, and they they rejected it, right? With, who, who would not hand over their provisions to those whom their right hands possessed. See, so they didn't give y'all the provisions that I gave to y'all inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, nor in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning to you all in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, nor prisons all over the world, but they have given y'all either assistance, no assistance, jail time, no jail time. See, they done judge you in accordance with the laws that they didn't let you know was provided to you. See, so how aren't they the anti-justice if they're not just in their rendering of justice? So now, okay, and Allah has favored some of you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, and y'all rejected it. And Allah has made for you from yourselves mates and has made for you from your mates sons and grandchildren and has provided for you from the good things. Then in falsehoods, wait, then in falsehood do they believe and in the favor of Allah they disbelieve. <laughs> Man. And they worship besides Allah that which does not possess for them the power of provision from the heavens and, and the earths at all in the civil nor criminal courthouses and similar nor orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. And in fact, they are unable in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So do not assert similarities to Allah in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, nor inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida. Indeed, Allah knows and and knows and you do not know in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, nor prisons anywhere in the world. And Allah presents an example inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning. And slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided for us good provision in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th, in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So he spends for it secretly and publicly. <laughs> See? Ooh, that, I mean, that, that thing not describing me. See, now I'm doing it publicly, but I did it privately on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning. But you reject me, but I wish I would have rejected you. But if I would have rejected you, then you wouldn't have known who I am. But now I know who you are, but I, but I was mistreated by Christians, but I still love the kids. See, y'all don't even love my kids. Y'all punishing my kids because y'all wrong. Y'all keeping us apart because your father is not in accordance with Allah. So how then can you then come after me and not after your father? Why would you come after my children's father who then saw you as a child? 
See, I didn't see just my children. I saw my children as you. But, hey, that's a father, though. See, that's not a spiritual father. That's a biological father. See? Okay, but um, unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided for, we have provided from us good provisions. So he spends from it secretly and privately. Can they be equal? Praise to Allah. But most of them do not know in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, nor prisons anywhere in the world. See, so I got to come and tell you, then you reject me. Now the devil have his way with me because you don't believe I am who I am. Now, and Allah presents an example of two men, one of them dumb and unable to do a thing, while he is a burden to his guardian. Wherever he directs him, he brings no good. Is he equal to one who commands justice? in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Owens counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning or inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning? Huh? While, while he is on a straight path in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails and prisons all over the world. When my name got to you, I'm still on the righteous path even though I came through a corrupt course. I, I came through corruption still righteous. It's the, I still haven't committed a crime yet. But now they say, oh, vengeance is not mine, say of the Lord. I'm saying, well, are you the Lord? Because you took out vengeance on me and I'm an innocent man. But now you telling me that I done went through this process and this uh, manifestation of my name and different titles inside of your justice system. Is that not evolution? Did I not go from a simple name to a divine status inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida for you being corrupt? So now, did not when my name manifested its title, did not my name then um, devalue your value? See, every time I rose, did you not fall? See, how did you climb and I fell when I'm climbing and you still falling? See, so either we going down and I'm going up, but how you going up and you corrupt? Your path can't be straight. And to Allah belongs the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth. See, the un see and, and to Allah belongs the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth and the command for the owl is not but as a glance of the eye or even nearer indeed Allah is over all things competent inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12 2008 at 10:40 in the morning as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. And Allah has extracted you from the wounds of your mothers not knowing a thing. And he made for you hearing and vision and hearts, i.e. intellect, that perhaps you would be grateful in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, and prisons all over the world. Do they not see the birds controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? Not, none holds them up except Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe.